So Karsty asks, I think you've mentioned before that your autism makes casual conversation difficult. All of your live podcast conversations seem to flow very naturally. And I wondered if you have to do any specific prep for these. Each one is a high stake conversation, so I would have expected these to be very triggering. Yet it's clear you're enjoying them. Well, that yeah, that's an odd one. Because so I'm diagnosed as autistic. When I'm doing a live podcast, I'm speaking to someone about ideas. And when I'm speaking to a person about ideas, I'm able to have really enjoyable conversations. Where I struggle is with small talk. Like I was in a lift the other day and I got into a lift and it was me and there was a woman in there. And the lift journey was just long enough where you kind of have to engage in small talk. And she asked me something along the lines of, what are you doing for a living? And then I froze and then walked out of the elevator without saying goodbye. Now that specific question is difficult for me also because I have to lie. Obviously I'm not wearing my plastic bag in the lift, so... I don't like it when a stranger says, what do you do for a living? Because I have to think of a lie. I'm not going to come out and say, oh, I'm I'm your man blind by. Because that unleashes a, a flurry of small talk situations. So I have to think of a lie and come up with the most boring job possible that won't lead to further questions. And then, of course, I walked away feeling like a prick. And all the shame of that and the embarrassment of it. And why the fuck did you do that? Jesus Christ. And it's not... It's not a nervousness. It's... I have great difficulty with the spontaneity of small talk. And knowing what that give and take is. But... If we're speaking about ideas... Concepts... Then I can talk for hours and I love it. And I can listen. And there's back and forth. It's... What are you up to? How about that weather? Did you see the match last week? That's the shit that I have difficulty with. I get confused. I freeze. I notice the other person looking at me strange. Then I get social anxiety. That makes it worse. And then I walk out of a lift without saying goodbye to someone. And afterwards beat myself up for an hour. Because I'm worried that I might have just hurt or offended a stranger for no reason. Because walking away from a conversation in the middle of it is not socially acceptable behaviour but those rules of social acceptability are neurotypical rules that people who are neurodivergent don't necessarily grasp but if that lady in the lift had said um have you any opinions about the bones of italian saints then we'd have had a wonderful conversation 